by Heffernan. And was that a foul? It's a goal anyway from Funnel. From Funnel. From Funnel. Right, here with Tony Funnel, Bournemouth legend. How are you doing, Tony? Very happy this week. <laughs> Now, Tony, last week you said five, 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 five. We got lots of fives, but this week you were trying to get six. How did you get on? Seven. Seven! Yeah, really pleased with this week. Um, funny, disappointed, let down by Man United. A few seasons ago, you'd never seen that happen. Yeah. Man United losing a Premiership game. And also, let down by Bournemouth. But at the same time, a few seasons ago, you yeah. couldn't have seen that coming because they weren't in the Premiership. So, yeah, very true. Very true. yeah, very difficult to predict last week, I think. Uh, and the the season this year has been a bit. We've seen some odd results, haven't we? Yeah, I'd like to say that's the reason why my pickings haven't been quite so good at times. <laughs> It's not Tony, it's the results. That's what's gone wrong. Right, I'm going to have a little look at the fixtures then. So we're going to start on the Saturday fixtures. So we're going to start with uh, Newcastle United against Manchester City. Yes, Manchester City wobbly in the week, but a way win. Manchester City. Fantastic. We're going to get Burnley, Crystal Palace. Burnley getting stronger and stronger. I'm going for Burnley. And then we've got Chelsea against West Ham United. Chelsea. Liverpool, I've got Brighton, Hove and Albion. Yeah, I've got to go home win for Liverpool. And Tottenham Hotspur taking on the mighty Bournemouth. Yeah, the mighty Bournemouth. They weren't mighty last week, but I'm hoping for a draw. If they can get a draw, at least. I'll be pleased with a draw. Uh, and then we've got Southampton against Watford. Now, these next two games could make or break Southampton, yeah. so I'm going to go for a Southampton home win. And then we've got Norwich on the Sunday against the Arsenal. This could be a shaky one for me because I'm going to go for an Arsenal win, but they're up and down so much. But Arsenal away win. And we got Wolves, who were very impressive on the weekend, I must admit, against Sheffield United, who have been flying. Yeah, I'm going for Wolves. Home win for Wolves. Leicester City against Everton. Home win for Leicester. And then Manchester United against Aston Villa. Oh, they do it to me all the time, but I'm going for Man United home win. Just interesting, Tony. If Villa were to get a result there against Manchester United, do you think they'd start looking and thinking, well, Poch is out of a job, should we be tapping him up? I think they're looking already. I'd be surprised if they weren't. Um, and it seems it's all gone quiet about Pochettino at the moment. He must know there's a chance of something. Not saying it's Manchester United, but there is a chance of something. And these days, there's so much money in the clubs they've got to do something quickly they can't let Man United keep going another week and another week because no. it's not very good at the moment last week before they scored a couple of goals in um, the seven minute period they were atrocious there were some photos of um, Alex Ferguson in the crowd and I, I, it looked like he was ready to jump over and, and run down there and start oh. managing himself I'm sure if he was on the sideline it wouldn't have been quiet at all no, I bet it wouldn't have. Also, I think if we'd had Roy Keane in midfield, yeah. they wouldn't have wandered around then. No. They would have made sure they ran about and, and got sweat on. So, yeah. uh, Thank you, mate. That's, that's great. Fantastic. Cheers. Good to see you. Be lucky.